was round four. So we had some really weird pairings. You'll probably see it in other videos, but uh, we had three players drop, and it was, there was only ten people. So there's people that are playing each other again. And I'm not sure if that's if uh, Wizards Event Reporter would have done that or if uh, it's just the tournament software I'm using. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to mulligan too. Ugh. This is also bad. So technically I'm 3-0. and My first round opponent, I guess, signed up and didn't show up to play. And then round two, round three, I won. Uh, Swarm Lord here is 3-0, and but he played three matches, so... Okay, he kept six. I don't have any card selection, so I don't think I keep this. Okie dokie. Gets Castle Rider. That could be a mistake. Need another black source. Debating on the steam vents, I don't think it'll matter. These are the giants. He's playing probably Clover. Grab some mountain here, probably. I guess if he has Girl Spiral, he. Oh! Okay, he's playing Bant. Not team. Oh, he's playing. Okay. He's playing five color colors. Stand by and watch. Wouldn't mind a black source off the top here. Stop, trust me. I have a plan. Okay, that works too. So I can't actually cast anything. So fairy here doesn't do anything for at least two more turns. It's not a huge priority to hit it. Depending on what he does, I may just eat something else. that um I'm actually just gonna pass Let's see what he does I've got it is not cooperating this game, which and it happens. There's no fires to fix it. Looks like he's kind of flooding. Hmm. Alright.
what you're doing. Land would have been really good there. I think I'm actually just going to pass. Can't imagine he's running counter spells. or a swamp is kind of what I'm looking for here. And he has drawn a land every turn, so it's kind of rough for him. Kept it on top. So I don't have triple black. So I think I will. Um, do I want the selection? that land. <laughs> Just click through. Oops. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's not forget this this time. Alright, didn't punish us, but that was a small mistake. doing over there. I'll do some card flicking because everyone loves it. So thinking us about sideboarding, the uh, cry is going to come out. 
And that might be it. Leave up two lands though. Oh, you only need one. I'm thinking of Cavalier. Nice. Yep. Probably it for this game. Let's see if I can draw a land off of this. Alright, so. Can either bolus assuming he has a creature, which he's gotta have a creature. I'm just dead here. So I think it's gonna be Swift and uh we'll go with Crisis. This is the only way I don't die. Uh, great, great, bad. So now I can cast the Croxa. He's gotta have... I mean, any other Kenrith with any creature and I'm dead here. Fae of Wishes. a lot of land, but he still has cards in hand. Row and Krasis. Hard to beat the duo. up as I go. Alright, let's see what we draw first. Only doesn't do a whole lot. Let your weak minds crumble. Uh, the only thing relevant is the Liliana. 
do have a sideboard. And I guess I'll grant it now. Horrifiers. I can play that next turn. Let's try this. Gets rid of Bolus. Oh, no, I'm just dead. I forgot I was at six. Alright. Guess we're going to game six. Alright. Uh, so Cry doesn't do anything. Tyrant Scorn is probably okay. Ritual's fine. Um. Hmm. Kind of just want those. Leave the Ashiok on the board so I can fetch it. Um, casualties is good in the board. I guess I could put one in the main deck, but I also don't know what I want to take out from here. Um, probably one Tyrant Scorn. It's kind of like the worst of what's in there. So we'll go with that. That was a long game one. We're at about 18 minutes. I will play first. Two lands, both tapped. Thought Erasure, Agonizing Remorse. It's not horrible, so we'll we'll give it a shot. I don't really want a mulligan here. Bleed on the castle. Oops, mulligan. Another mulligan. Going to five is pretty rough. He does have a lot of card draw, but that thins the deck. Um, I need to find a land here, but I want to keep him off cards. So I'm going to get rid of the growth spiral here. It's a land. It's going to be tapped. I guess I keep it. I'm not happy with it, but. Next turn, I'll be playing a tapped castle and probably the omen. Because uh, he can't really do anything. I can hit the fires on the following turn if I need to. Uh, so we will just pass here. Gives him an opportunity to cast an Uro. Um, I'm okay with that because I can always remorse that from the graveyard if I need to. But he doesn't have blue, so. Oh, he didn't play blue. That's fine. Does have a breeding pool. All right, so we'll omen here. I'm looking for a, probably a swamp. That works. That works too. So that's like exactly what we wanted to see. Uh, there's one unknown card, so well, doesn't matter. 
in this format, but it's always good to leave the land on top in case he has some end of turn effect. You don't want them to see the fires that's below it. So we'll shock this in, play the fires, and then I'm going to Agonizing Remorse. And we take the fires. So I think we're in a pretty good spot here. If I draw land, we can get Nicol Bolas on. Perfect. Enter's tapped. Play Bolas. And go up. Cool. Another land. Uh, so I'm going to grant it here. And it's probably just casualties. I think it's just casualties of war. Uh, and then we will pass. I'm going to set a stop on my upkeep. Hydroid crisis. top deck. So there goes Bolas. Yep. Are you returned? So we're going to scry. Need a win condition. Um, Fae of Wishes is fine. I'm actually going to scry again. No, I won't. Um, I can scry just as deep now. So we'll play this land. I think I just hit casualties here. So we want creature land. And we will keep him off of uh, forest. And I'm going to grant it for a win condition for next turn. So we will grab a Nickel Bolas and pass. Now I can scry on the end of his turn. So it does get me one deeper since I already had a plan for that turn. Alright, so scry to actually set a stop here first. So we did draw a card. Let's take a peek at it. So, we're not going to use that stop. Cool. I'll play the bullets. Imagining he's going to go ahead and score this game. To my will. So he's not going to be casting that Beanstalk Giant. There's no cards in hand. Uh, I'm gonna hold the temple. Uh, based, if, if I need to play a Fae of Wishes and return it to my hand, the having your extra lands, that's good practice to do. Uh, so the Scry on the end of his turn. I don't need either of those. Are they just looking for more Planeswalkers here? So, go up. He's probably gonna discard what's in his hand. Uh, so we'll cast a Fae. Yeah, so we'll just cast a Fae. Alright, so here I'm going to activate that, discard these lands. And that guarantees I have something to do next turn. Um, no, I don't have the mana for that, do I? Nope. So we will scry my upkeep here. Since I don't know what's on top. Don't want either of those. Draw. Cool. I 
not even playing tonight. He's just making me play this out, huh? You have no weakness that I cannot right. exploit. It's gonna make me do it. Alright, so here's where we just double emblem. Nickel Bolas can win next turn. And is it me? Or is it getting a little warm in here? Doesn't even matter. We'll attack. Um, I'll play this on my turn. Does it matter? Sure. Doesn't actually matter because we'll just do that. Okay. Alright, game three. Um, I don't think I need to change anything here. We are on the draw, so hopefully he's a little slow out of the gates. That was a much faster game. About nine and a half minutes on that one. I don't mind that. They've taken one mulligan. I've got disruption and selection, and I can grab a fire, so we'll keep that hand. It's a little painful with four shock lands, but we'll see how it goes. Ritual of Silt. So. I usually like to lead on Water Grave because I could draw a castle or any any basic. Or not. Um, so I'm going to use the Remorse here. I'd like to keep him off Uro. I don't like. I don't like him filling his hand back up, especially when he's on a Mulligan. So dispute fires casualty decree. Doesn't have the land. I think we have to take the dispute. It's a it's a debate. Like he's gonna draw a card. If he draws a land, he's in pretty good shape. And then the dispute's dead. Otherwise he can counter something. Um I'll take the fires actually. It's fine. I'll scry. That's a good draw. So we'll leave that there and just pass. So this leaves us with the omen either casting it or scrying, depending on what he does here. Uh, 
and I'm going to try to bait that dispute. Okay, I definitely don't want a 7th land. Okay, so we know he has the dispute, so I am going to... Thought Erasure here. Leave up the 3. See if he wants to use it. Actually, the agent here can't cast the casualties of war. That's a pretty good draw. You can hit it with devout decree. I can play the long game here. second one of those. That'll bait the dispute. So let's... He will definitely counter this. Does have one black, so any okay. All right, let's. So if he if he drew another dispute, I don't have enough mana to pay for it anyways, and this will definitely bait out the devout decree, which I have to work through at some point. Uh, so we will. This. Plus. That was actually a good draw there. Imagine it's this card here he's getting rid of. Gotta be great. Oh, we got rid of the casualties. Okay. My I actually like that. Never ending. So we'll shock that in to play the omen on his end step. So he's going to fire that off on Bolas immediately. Oh, Golos. Okay. Yep. Resolves. He's going to grab... I'm not actually sure here. Castle? Vantress is probably the best one, if it's in the list. <laughs> Temple of Silence, okay. Gives him double black, so maybe that's a Casualties of War that's in his hand. So I don't mind a Disruption spell here. Um, actually, I have three black. I think at some point I need to get a Fires. And if I keep a land, yeah, I think this is fine. So the first thing we'll do is, actually the first thing we'll do is swift end, I think. definitely not making the decisions I would have made. So I wonder, okay. So I wonder what's in his hand. Uh, we'll just get rid of uh, that. Let your weak 
minds crumble. Hmm. I can afford another nickel bolus activation. I don't want him to bounce that to his hand somehow. I don't know if he can. Um, so if I fires and then bolus. Can I just give up my bolus and kill his bolus? Feels bad. For your cause. And we'll set a stop on my upkeep for the castle if I need to. And he's drawn a lot of lands here. Alright. Can't do anything there. Schemes have been foiled. Isn't looking too bad for me right now. So I will activate there. I don't want either of those. Actually, do I want a fires? So my next turn, I'm going to grant it for something. So backup fires isn't bad if he draws a casualties of war. So we'll we'll leave one on top. I won't scry. Uh, so we will grant it. I'm looking for. I think Elspeth conquers death here. Like to see that the land deck drawn lands, so we'll scry on his end step. Uh, let's do this. Bottom both of those. This. Omen sees a lot of cards but I don't really need them. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> all right. So all we're gonna do is Fey. And Murderous Rider. So he has one more agent in the list, is my guess. Time is actually lower. That's kind of weird. Uh, sure. Keep the scorn, get rid of the so the ritual of soot. And we will grab Bolus. Loyalty. And will resonate um, throughout the multiverse. See any relevant lands? No, we'll just destroy Beanstalk Giant. <sighs> A feeble effort defiant so has one. consequences. I need to play a little quicker because I have less time than he does. And I will grab a Chandra, cast the Chandra. Plus one. You look <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> 
Alright. Should be pretty good here. Agent of Treachery would be a really good top deck. Um, could take the Chandra and kill the Nicol Bolas. Other than that, I think we're pretty good. Don't want lands. That's not gonna work. Oh, I did get it in time. I'll take the Murderous Rider just in case. Uh, so. Now we just give emblems. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? Hope it's not too hot for you. About one. Should be able to get a pretty quick clock going now. Mystical dispute, <laughs> sure. Uh, pay three. And again, I'm not going to play this castle. Uh, it's a good card to discard if I need to pick up a Fae for something. And at this point, I think we've pretty much got this game. Put him to 11. Goes to 8 on my turn. Goes to 3 on his turn. Hasn't seen an Uro or a Golos, which is kind of... It's not what he wants. I don't mind. I guess he's out one girl, one Golos. Ooh, that refills your hand. I think that pretty much locks it for us. Just because of the emblems. So we'll just use, oops. We'll just go efficient route. Alternate cost. Destroy that. Emblem. Emblem. No pressure. Oh, I am and we'll cast that. Traces did gain him some life, but next turn he'll be taking seven from emblems, so. Sure, what he's doing. He's looking at everything. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, so Chandra. It's interesting. Fires. Um, so let's. I'm curious what my deck looks like at this point. <laughs> uh, the rest is fine, right? Alright, so he's got six emblems and I have two damage on board, so I don't return the Fae. So we give him... Oh! Haha, <laughs> I can't do an emblem. Duh. That's five emblems. Alright. So I guess we just go for Fire's Liliana. We 
just need to get in like one point of damage. Assuming he doesn't. The undead make great minions. Loyal. Assuming he doesn't gain any life here. Spiral, spiral in hand Good is my help guess. Is easy to find in war. This keeps pausing. Green blue. See if he makes me go through it. Alright, so pretty straightforward. We could do this a number of ways. We'll just swift end the crisis. And I'm gonna make zombies because it's a pandemic outside right now. So, zombie apocalypse here. Boom. So, there's the game. Alright, good games. Good games, Chris. So, that was the last round of our MTG Arena casual Friday Night Magic. Uh, and I say casual because there's no way uh, to guarantee people aren't assisting each other, you know, in person or on Discord or stream sniping. So, there's really no way to enforce that stuff. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, we will try to push out some more Arena content for everyone. And see you next time.